Hey guys, so I'm here to do a follow-up review of the Lil Box Q3. So, um, I uh, actually originally reviewed this two years ago, and um, about four months ago, um, my device got to where I had to unplug it every day to get it to work. And um, I bought a different Android box. Um, at a discount from an Amazon seller, thankfully, um, so I didn't have to pay full price. And um, I ended up not liking that device. And if I remember, I'll put it the um, review in the cards. Um, but I ended up not liking the way that device looked. Um, the layout, the way it worked, um, I just couldn't vibe with it. Uh, and I really loved how the little box Q3, um, had functioned. So what I actually did was, um, pass the other one on and ordered me a new one of these. Now, originally I did get the first one for review, um, I was going to buy the Q4 model a few months ago, uh, but that model is no longer showing as available on Amazon. Like I can't find it. So I'm not sure what happened there. So I rebought the Q3 and um, this is Android 7.1 um, and it's $49.99. And this is what the box looks like. And the remote. So, whoops. Um, so overall, I did enjoy the Q3. Um, like I said, I had it for two years. It was my main Android box. I um, got rid of all the other ones I had. I did not keep them. Um, and sorry, the animals are being crazy. Um, so I ended up repurchasing it. And like I said, it's $49.99 um, plus tax. And um, they do still have these in stock on Amazon. But what I've started running into is that a lot of the apps are now saying that they are not supported. And I can't use half of what I was using it for. Um, Netflix is um, not wanting to work properly. Um, YouTube keeps telling me it needs to update. Uh, but then when I go to update, it tells me that the app is no longer compatible with this device. So it's just slowly aging out at this point. Um, it's just like a phone. I mean, sooner or later, um, your phone's going to be too old to update. And you're not going to be able to download new apps. And slowly, apps stop working because, well they get to the point where they refuse to let you use them unless you update and then you can't use it anymore. So, um, I have had this Q3 for about two weeks and am running into this issue already. So I am returning it back to Amazon and have already picked out a new one. So another review will be coming out soon. Um, I'll be paying full price again for this next one. Um, I tried to see if I could find any um, Android box companies looking for review 
and um, did not find any quick enough, I feel, um, to be able to, you know, <laughs> make it viable for me because this is my main source of TV. I don't have cable. I don't have, um, you know, a lot of those things. And I've put away and packed up my Roku and um, I gave away my Chromecast because I could never get it to work with my Wi-Fi. And um, I still have my Blu-ray player, but I honestly don't even ever really use it because I watch um, YouTube, Hulu, and Netflix um, in the DirecTV app sometimes. Um, so this is going back. Um, if you're looking at purchasing an Android box, I do like the Lil Box line. Um, they also have King Box as well. Um, I do recommend them, but I would say for now to stay away from the Q3 because it's pretty much out um, out of date. Um, it's should be aged out of the system now. Um, honestly, I don't know how much longer they're going to be selling it on Amazon. It was great while it lasted. I'm really sad to see um, it get to this point, but it was a great two years. And I honestly loved it that much that I bought it again. <laughs> Um, so it is what it is. Um, technology changes over years. And so, um, if you're in the market for a Android TV, do not buy the Lil Box Q3 because as of now, um, it's obsolete. So thanks so much for watching this quick little video guys. And, uh, please subscribe, like, comment, uh, check out my Android box review um, playlist. I do have a playlist because I've reviewed like five or six of these. Um, and that's all. So I'll see you next time. Bye.